Okay, so in this video we're going to look at simultaneous equations, but when you have one linear equation and one quadratic equation. So take, for example, the following y equals x squared. So that is your quadratic equation. A quadratic equation, remember, is whenever you have a power of 2. So an x squared term of any type in the equation, and it is a quadratic. And um, also we have 2x plus y is equal to 3. So this is our linear, because linear is when we have a power of 1. Okay, so we can see the x is a power of 1, and here we can see the x is a power of 2. So when it's a power of 2, it's a quadratic. When it's a power of 1, it is linear. And the reason, of course, we call it linear is because if we were to sketch this as a function, then we would get a straight line, hence linear okay so power of one for linear power of two for quadratic so with this particular example um and simultaneous equations when we have these type of equations the issue here of course is we cannot do elimination method okay there's no way we're going to be able to work this out by just eliminating one of the variables so what we do instead is we do a substitution method okay so With the substitution method, we basically have four steps, okay, to make it nice and straightforward for us. So, for step one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the linear equation and get x equals or y equals, whichever is easier, from that. So, step one, get x equals or rearrange and get y equals from the linear equation, okay? So this is my linear equation. So quite clearly, it's going to be easier for me to get y equals than it is to get x on its own equals. Because if I have to get x equals, I'm going to have to divide across by 2 and it's going to get quite nasty. So always go with what's easier. So in this case, it's going to be easier to get y equals. And to do a little bit of rearranging of this, I end up with y equals 3, take away 2x from both sides, so 3 minus 2x. So since y is equal to 3 minus 2x, then in the quadratic, I have y equals x squared. I'm going to sub in what y is equal to. So I'm going to sub in 3 minus 2x. So instead of y equals x squared, it'll be 3 minus 2x equals x squared. Okay, so now you have a quadratic here. It's not normally how we would deal with a quadratic. We would always have a quadratic written where we would have something x squared plus something x plus something equal to zero. So I'm going to do a bit of rearranging on this so that it looks like that. So if I add 2x to both sides and take away the 3, um, I would get nothing on the left and x squared plus 2x minus 3 on the right. So that's normally the way I would uh, have quadratics written out for me when I want to solve them. So now, solving a quadratic equation, remember you've always got two options. You can use the minus b formula or you can factorise to solve it. So it's up to you. I'm going to factorise to solve it because it's a nice, easy uh, quadratic to factorise. x times x is x squared. Uh, factors of 3, of course, would be 3 times 1. And in order to make a plus 2, uh, I would take away 1 from a positive 3. So then I have x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So solve both these equations, and I get x is equal to 1, or x is equal to minus 3. So there are my two solutions for x. So now what I must do, okay, so let's go back to our steps here. So for step 2, we subbed it into the quadratic, and for step 3, we'll just add that uh, I'm going to put in multiply out. You may need to multiply it out, okay? I'm going to put that in brackets. In this case, we didn't have to multiply anything out. Once we subbed it in, it was good to just be simplified and solved, okay? But in some cases, for example, if you were subbing in for the x, you would have to square it, and so there'd be some multiplication involved there. Um, so multiply out and simplify and solve the quadratic okay so that's what we did there okay so now our final step once you have solved for the x 
we now need to go and solve for the y. So what we're going to do, just like we would do with our normal simultaneous equations, once you solve for a value for x, you sub it in uh, to one of the original equations and solve for the y. So that's what I'm going to do here, but I've got two different solutions to sub back in. So my step four is sub in your answers to the original linear. Now we're going to choose the linear equation because naturally that is going to be much easier to work with. It obviously will work with both and just like with simultaneous equations elimination method you can sub into either and either will work but in this case uh, they will of course both work but we might as well keep life a bit simpler for ourselves. So subbing into the linear will be a lot easier to solve than subbing into the quadratic. So sub your linear answers into the original linear uh, equation and solve. So let's do that. So when x is 1, the linear, remember, from up here is 2x plus y equals 3, or the way we rearranged it, and we arranged it accurately, into y equals 3 minus 2x. So I'm going to sub it into uh, y equals 3 minus 2x. And of course, instead of the x, I'm subbing in 1. So I get y equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. Now when x is minus 3, Let's sub that in again to this linear, y equals 3 minus 2x. So we get 3 minus 2 times minus 3, which is 3 minus 2 by minus 3 is plus 6. So y is equal to 9. So when x is minus 3, y is equal to 9. Okay, so let's try this uh, question. If you feel confident, press pause and see how far you can get on your own. Otherwise, listen up and we'll go through this one thoroughly and that'll help you then with the further questions you might have to deal with. So, again, follow your steps, if you remember your steps from um, earlier. Step one is to get, with the linear, get x equals or y equals whatever is going to be easiest. And in this case, it's going to be easier to get uh, x equals. If we just bring everything across or add the y and take away the one, in other words, we get y uh, minus 1. So we get x equals y take away 1. So now um, we're going to take this and we're going to sub it into the quadratic. So the quadratic of course is x squared plus y squared equals 5. So instead of x we're now subbing in y minus 1. So remember with your rules for substitution whatever you sub in keep brackets around it. So instead of x squared it's going to be y minus 1 all to be squared plus y squared equals 5. Okay now it doesn't matter up here if you decided to take y equals instead you would just make sure you sub it in for the y obviously instead in the quadratic and you'd still be able to solve it and we'll get the same answers at the end. So Either of these are kind of both um, equally easy. It was clear in the last question that it was much easier to get the y equals. Um, always go with what you feel is easier. <clears throat> so, okay, in this case, we have y minus 1 all to be squared. Now, be careful here, okay? A lot of pupils make mistakes here. y minus 1 all to be squared, remember, is y minus 1 by y minus 1. That's double brackets, y minus 1 by itself. Now, when you're multiplying at double brackets... You have to multiply y by y to get y squared, y by minus 1 to get minus y, minus y by minus 1 by y, which gets you minus y, and minus 1 by minus 1 is a plus 1. Okay, so that is the expansion of y minus 1 all to be squared. And now if we tidy it up, we can add together, of course, things that are the same. So we can add our y's together, and we can also add our y squareds together. Okay, because they're the same. So y squared and y squared is 2y squared. Minus y minus y is minus 2y. And then I have plus 1 is equal to 5. Now again, we can see we're getting a quadratic here to solve. But we normally would always in our quadratic have it equal to 0. So that's what I want to get here. I'm going to take away 5 from both sides. So that I end up with 2y squared minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so now 
Again, you've got your quadratic. You've got two options always to solve a quadratic. You can use your minus b formula or you can factorize to solve it. I'm gonna factorize to solve it. And before I do, I can spot straight away that if I divide across all by two, I'm gonna get a much nicer quadratic to factorize than having one with a coefficient greater than one. So I'm gonna divide across by two, and I get y squared minus y minus two equals zero. So this is a much nice, nicer quadratic to solve. Open up my brackets, y times y is y squared, of course, and factors of two would be two times one. To make a minus one uh, y in the middle term, it would have to be a plus one minus two. Okay, so then I would have y plus one equals zero, or y minus two equals zero, which gives me y is equal to minus one, or y is equal to two. So there's my two solutions. So step four, remember now, is to take these two solutions and to sub them back in. So I'm going to sub them all the way back in to my um, linear, which I have x equals y minus 1. So of course, if y is equal to minus 1, then that becomes x equals minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. So there's my solution for x. And again, if x is equal to y minus 1, but this time I'm subbing in y is equal to 2, then I get x is equal to 2 minus 1, so x is equal to 1. And there is my solution. So you'll always get two solutions for the x and two solutions for the y.